Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's jump right in. So I'm sitting here with your pre-shuffle energies. And it's a little confusing, to be honest. Um, I have strength, the four of cups. The four of cups is in reverse. We have the page of cups, and then we have the nine of swords. And at the bottom of the deck, the overall energy right now of your pre-shuffle is the ten of wands. So... Here you're showing up here, Leo, in your reading with strength. I really do feel like this is you. And I feel like this Nine of Swords could also be you, but there's also a part of me that kind of feels like this is another person that you might be connected to. Because what I have here with the Four of Cups in reverse and strength, I feel like you're allowing yourself to uh release let go of or remove move away from something in your life that's unrequited or unfulfilling okay and um with the page of cups here in terms of that it's like okay well instead let me focus on my dreams then let me focus on what i really want ah okay it just came together so so I feel like right now, Leo, you're in a point of view or you're in a position in your life right now where you're kind of like facing the music here. There's something that is facing reality in some way. There's something that is unfulfilling for you and probably has been for a, quite a while. Um, and I think with the strength card here, you're finally getting to the point where you're starting to realize that this is unfulfilling, which is then which is then causing you to change your focus and say, okay, well, what would be fulfilling? Page of Cups. And that's where the anxiety comes in here. Because in order for you to get to what would really be truly fulfilling, um, you're going to have to get through some brambles. You're going to have to get through some thick, right? Um, you're gonna have to cut through some shit to get there i feel like there's a lot there's a lot in your way there's there's a lot that could be blocking you i'm hearing facing the music again it's like you may be in an energy right now of facing a reality that you've created for yourself that you're coming to find is unfulfilling or maybe this very well could be a cross watcher someone that is someone that you're connected to or someone that is cross watching for you leo if you're the cross watcher here this that could be resonating with you as well this is a general reading guys so take it as it resonates but interesting okay so let's move on and i'm using the wild unknown tarot this month i love this deck it's really quite beautiful okay i'm going to give this one shuffle and then we're going to get into the rest of the reading here and see what else comes out for you leo all right here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages for Leo in terms of general energies to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of May 20. 20. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo, I'm going to give this five shuffles. But yeah, there is this feeling here that you've kind of worked yourself into a certain position. You've been working for or working towards something for quite a while, thinking that it was going to bring some sort of fulfillment, thinking that it was going to bring some sort of happiness, and it may have to a certain extent, okay? But I don't think this is the end all be all. And there could be an energy, a situation, or, or, or a moment where you start to realize, wait, my true happiness, what I really truly want, or what's really going to truly make me happy, or at least set me on that path towards what's really going to make me happy, is in a completely different direction. Like I have to turn 180 degrees at least, just to get to 
start moving in that direction something like that something like that i mean you have to and maybe it does maybe it's not 180 degrees but maybe it's like a 90 degree shift and that still is going to be difficult because there's so much around you so far that you've already built that's quite rooted and grounded and and stable and secure and it's like well i can't necessarily just uproot this so something's gonna have to give interesting leo Okay, um, but this does feel very, I, I, I wouldn't want you to, oop, I really wouldn't want you to um, beat yourself up about this because what this kind of feels like, even if you're starting to realize, wow, my happiness really is in a very, very different direction, this is still, there's still an element to this of learning through the contrast, which is a big part of, you know, why we're even here to begin with on this planet going through a lot of what we're going through it's in order to learn to expand and to grow and really the only way or the most effective way that you do that is by experiencing contrast experiencing the things that ultimately you come to realize you really don't want and so now you can say okay well i know i don't want that so that means that i know that i kind of want, i want this instead or at least you have a better idea of what you want or at least you have a springboard or a frame a point of view to move from to say okay let's change our direction let's fine tune this yeah overall energy you do have the ace of cups excellent this is good for some of you love is actually the focus now and I'm picking up that love is the focus for some people in which it had never been the focus before or at least it wasn't something you really paid attention to or that you took too seriously but now you're starting to take it seriously at least and i feel like you're finding it or at least you're starting to f take it seriously within yourself because the ace of cups represents love yes and it represents unconditional love but it also represents self-love and true love starts with the self so i th i feel like you're i'm hearing you're integrating some of you are trying are working on integrating a sense of self-love unconditional love divine love which would which would then expand ultimately in the future once you know you you're adequately versed with it you can start to expand that and start to recognize or explore or express unconditional love for others right but it starts with you and that's what i'm getting with this ace of cups beautiful underneath the ace of cups is the hermit wow there's been a lot of soul searching recently hasn't there leo there's and, I, and with this with this hermit energy, I feel like there was something that happened that caused you to like take a step back and be like, whoa, what's going on here? What am I doing? What's, what is all of this? And it caused you to really go within to find your inner light or at least to try to find the inner light of self. So coupled with this Ace of Cups here, this could be a moment for you, Leo, either in the month of May or whenever this res reading resonates for you. If you're watching it after May, it doesn't matter. Technically, these are really timeless, but, you know, whatever. This is a monthly message. Um, you could be going through a period of soul searching, finding, going deep within, and trying to really connect with love within the self, okay? There, there, there's, and, and this, lo this, this loving energy is, is just that. It's loving. It's unconditional. It's nurturing. It's helpful. It's hopeful. It's beautiful. Um, but I feel like with this, Leo, there are going to be some hard truths you're going to have to face here. If you really want to love yourself, if you really want to be honest with yourself, there are some, I just feel for some of you, there are some, thing, there are some things you're going to have to face here that are not going to be pretty. And it may be some things that you have been putting off for a while. Underneath the Hermit, we have the Four of Wands. Excellent, Leo. Underneath the Four of Wands, oh, there you go, is death. Um good what the four of wands is speaking to is either you have a very good stable healthy home environment i'm feeling family i don't really feel like this could be romantic um some sort of support system that you have i feel like i'm gonna be honest with you leo now this is not a love reading i'm gonna get into the love reading after this which will be found on patreon if you want to check that out i highly recommend that you do so um patreon.com slash divine conversations yeah but I feel like this is a moment where someone is single. And if you're not single completely, you're separated or you're on a break. I, I don't feel like this is something, I don't feel like this is a relationship that's happening here between you and someone else. I feel like this is a relationship that is developing and you're working on with yourself, okay? Um, but I do feel 
for some of you with this four of wands energy, you do have a very strong support system to go to friends and or family and or colleagues. For others of you, this four of wands energy is the spiritual foundation that you need to start exploring, to really start going within and doing the deep soul searching and the deep diving and go and starting to go through a pretty serious transformation, Leo, is what this feels like. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a good start. It's troubling. It's challenging. Sure. But it's necessary and it's actually going to be very, very beneficial for you. Yeah. So let's get into the rest of this here. First half of your reading. First set of surrounding energies. You have the three of wands. Excellent. On your path, moving in the right direction, going in the right trajectory. I feel like for some of you, you're, you're redefining. Wait, I'm sorry. I can't count. This is the seven of wands. <laughs> sorry, guys. This is the seven of wands, not the three of wands. Interestingly enough, though, what I was going to say is I feel like you guys are um, reassessing your path and the Seven of Wands actually kind of does corroborate that because the Seven of Wands is talking about boundaries. And I just feel like you're you're really you're 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 setting up some pretty interesting boundaries or pretty strong boundaries right now just so that you can have the safe space to reassess your path here. OK, Seven of Wands is coupled with. The lovers, 11, 11, wow. Okay, seven of wands and the lovers. So, hmm. I'm not gonna lie, Leo. The strongest thing that I'm feeling with this seven of wands and the lovers is that if there is a love interest in your life, if there is a significant other, I don't feel like they're a part of this process right now. I feel like there are boundaries between the two of you. I feel like there's separation here. You need, a, you need some time away from each other in order to go through your own personal transformation. I don't feel like there's love lost here. However, there was that unrequited love type situation in the Four of Cups that was in reverse in your pre-shuffle. So I kind of feel like if you are dealing with a romantic relationship at uh, in, right now um, or some sort of romantic situation, um, that wasn't working. And it is finally like, I think it was kind of like what I'm feeling an energy of like the straw that broke the camel's back. There was something that happened or it was at, at least it came to a point where it was just like, all right, look, we can't keep doing this like this. Something has to give, something has to change. Someone has to change. And that doesn't mean that you guys are coming together later on. That that could very well be, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, uh, first of all, this is not a love reading. Second of all, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but just because you guys are separated now and someone's going through a transformation, that doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are going to absolutely come back together in the future. It is still possible. Don't get me wrong, but this moment right now for you leo is not about you changing so that you can get back with this person it's about you changing so that you can actually be in a better position to honor yourself or to make choices that are in fact better for yourself here so with the seven of yes with the seven of wands and the six and the six of major arcana or the lovers this is a kind of an energy of reassessing your path because with the lovers here, this is a card about making a decision, but it's also a make, uh, making a decision about what is best for you, making a decision from your heart. And you're going to need some time away from this romantic relationship if you're in one or whatever that you're taking a time, time away from in order for you to re reassess what is really what I want. What is the direction I truly want to be going in? This could kind of symbolize a midlife crisis, depending on where you are in your, in your timeline. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. In the first half of your reading is the seven of pentacles. There you go. There is that energy of learning through the contrast. This is the official learning through the contrast energy type of card. And it gets that, at least for me, we'll say for me. I see this as um, learning through the contrast because with the seven of pentacles, it's gotten you to the point where you, you had the seed, you planted, you tilled the ground, you planted the seed, you nurtured it for a while, and now it's starting to give you something. Um, 
Is it giving you something that you want? Yes. Excellent. Let's keep going in that direction. Is this not something that you want? No. Okay. Well, how do we fix that? How do we get what we want? What do I want in terms, in, 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 uh, compared to what I have now? There you have the, the law of, oh, not the, well, the, the law of attraction, yes, but um, learning through contrast. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with, oof, yep, the Three of Swords, because this is not what you wanted, Leo. This might be a bait and switch energy. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I, I don't know. This doesn't, it, you might feel like you've been baited and switched, or maybe the person you were with, if this is a romantic situation, maybe that person is kind of feeling a little bit like jip, like, hold on, whoa, 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 you totally like baited and switched me. This is not what I signed up for. This is not what I thought I was going to get from you. Like this, this is not the agreement that I thought we had. You could be saying this, Leo, or the other person could be saying this, or you, there could be two Leos here. Who knows? But definitely learning through the contrast. Definitely like, okay, well, this is heartbreaking, or this is not what I want, so how do I fix this? But you're going to need to take some time away, Leo. You're going to have to take some time for yourself, by yourself, with yourself, so that you can really start to figure out what it is you truly want in the face of what it is you have now. Okay, your challenge in the first half of your reading here. The Two of Swords. Indecisiveness. I feel like maybe you could find yourself in this position now because maybe you've been too indecisive. Maybe you've been too much in denial. This very well could be an energy of someone needing to take the blindfold off and really start to look at themselves, which is kind of the energy that I was picking up on in the beginning. Someone was refusing to see something. Two of Swords. And now it's like the, the chickens have come home to roost. You know what I mean? Oof, comeuppance. I just heard comeuppance. Yikes. Okay, but ultimately it's par for the course. So like you can't you, you can't be too upset about it. Even and sure, you might want to sink into that self-loathing shit, but that's never gonna help you anyway. And it's really not even that bad. Like, we're all here to learn through contrast. We all make mistakes. We're meant to make mistakes. That's how we learn, all right? But someone has to face something. Two of Swords, that's your challenge here. And the strongest thing I'm hearing is that um, you got to face yourself. So that pride and that ego is going to have to be put aside for a hot minute. <laughs> Two of Swords is coupled with... The Four of Pentacles. Look at that. So yeah, not only do you have to face something, but you've got to let go of something too. Principles, I'm hearing. There are certain principles that someone is holding on to that, are, that need to be faced and need to let go, be let go of because they're pretty outdated. Whether that's societally, like you're on the wrong side of history societally, or it's outdated for yourself. Like almost an energy of it's time to grow up in a certain, uh, it, to a certain extent, so on a certain level, you know what I mean? Jelly bean. Okay, closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here. Ah, the Fool, Leo, I like that. You're about to start a new journey, you're about to start a new adventure, um, diving into yourself. This is beautiful, I like this a lot. I really like that. The Fool is coupled with, Oh, well, there's that four of cups again. So a new start, a start over. Look, look, this might feel shitty. I'm not going to lie, Leo. This probably feels pretty shitty. But ultimately, whatever you're discovering is not fulfilling for you is providing you with an opportunity to take a leap of faith and move in a new direction. Period. And I know, I know, as a Leo... As a fixed sign, change is not something that you're all too gung-ho about. But that's the strong message right now, at least in this first half of the reading. We'll see what comes up in the second half. But the strongest message for you right now, Leo, is that whatever you are facing, whatever you are finding is unfulfilling for you. It is providing you with an opportunity to go towards something that actually would be more fulfilling for you. But you have to be able to allow yourself to embrace some sort of change. 
Because if you don't, then you're just going to keep getting the same things over and over again. And then that takes us back to the Seven of Pentacles, which in some points of view can be seen as, um, you know, learning through the contrast. Other points of view, it can be seen as Einstein's law of insanity. Definition, excuse me, Einstein's definition of insanity. Doing something over and over and over again, expecting the same way, expecting a different result. And you might have been in that. And you might have just been running up against the same heartbreak time and time again. But that absolutely could be, Leo, exactly what you need to face, what you need to look at, what you need to take the blindfold off and see and let go of. It's two of swords, four of pentacles in your challenge, right? In the challenge section of your first half of the reading. Okay. Change is hard, Leo. I get it. But you got to embrace it because change is literally the only constant in existence. Think about death. Death is not ever really the end. Death is literally just a transition from one state of being to another, i.e. change. You're going to go through change constantly throughout the entirety of your existence, whether you're here on Earth or some other planet or non-physically oriented. Y you understand what I'm saying? So allowing yourself to be able, able to at least flow with any sort of change. So it doesn't make it, look, it's not going to make it any easier. I get that. But allowing yourself to be able to just flow with it is beneficial enough. Okay. Excellent. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, the seven of swords. This, I feel, is an internal energy within you. And what I heard as soon as this card came out, Leo, was you are lying to yourself or you have been lying to yourself. I'm seeing this fox sitting here like in this position. I almost and I'm perceiving it as you trying to hide from yourself. You trying to hide certain aspects of your being, of your reality, of your personality, of your character, of your life, of your circumstances, whatever. You're trying to hide that from yourself. You don't want to face it, or at least you haven't wanted to face it. But look, the other thing about this is you see how that fox is laying on that sword? This part of you that's laying on this sword is hiding this potential to damage you. I'm perceiving this, this fox as a part of yourself that is fragmented, that is hurt, that has been abused, misused, mistreated, lied to, abandoned, any, any, any and or all potentially of those things. And so it hides away and it hides its, this sword as a defense mechanism, but it swings that sword indiscriminately because it's in defense mode. It's in hyper, you know, like a, an animal that's trapped and cornered and may have, you know, a bunch of humans in front of it that are actually trying to help it, but it doesn't realize that. It just snaps at it like a dog that's been abused all of its life and is huddled in a corner. And you're just trying to get that a leash around that dog's collar so that you can get it to the vet so that you can get it cleaned up and healed up and potentially find it a loving home. But at first, when you first approach that animal, it's like, oh, oh no, I'm going to bite you. That's what I'm seeing this fox as, laying on that sword, hiding that potential to hurt you, to harm you, but out of self-defense. But see, you have to face this in order to keep that from continuing to harm you or to keep that, to, 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 to eliminate the potential for this to harm you continuously anymore. Seven of Swords is coupled with the four. No, I'm sorry, not the four. I am so bad with Roman numerals right now. It's a problem. But this is the Six of Cups. So yeah, this is inner child for sure. This is absolutely a fragmented piece of your inner child that has some pretty serious roots in deception, betrayal, pain, heartbreak, denial, uh, mental, emotional, maybe even physical abuse, spiritual abuse. Why not? Mm, spiritual narcissists, man. Watch out for them. Whew, they are doozies. 
Yeah, you've got some inner child work that needs to be done. And what I'm kind of getting from this, Leo, is a lot of the things that you, a lot of the ways that you may have been acting, a lot of the ways that you have conducted yourself, a lot of the circumstances or situations you found yourself in was a direct reaction of the cries for help from your inner child. But the, the structure of our society only helped you to mistranslate those cries for help. And, and, and perceive them as, well, this is just who I am. This is just how we do this. This is just how it is. It's like, no, actually, there's trauma here that you're needing to recognize and work through, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Leo, you have, okay, the queen of pentacles, mommy issues, ooh. Um, now on the flip side, some of you could have issues with your mother. But what I also just heard on the flip side of this is a mother's nurturance or nurturing type energy is necessary here, is required here. So reparenting yourself is definitely a need right now. And I don't, I don't mean, I don't mean reparenting yourself from a masculine point of view, which is, con which can be controlling um, and um, disciplinarianism and, and rigid and, and kind of cold, not too emotional. What you need is the exact opposite. You need the feminine side of this. You need a mother's love. You need the queen of pentacles. Now the queen of pentacles, don't get me wrong. She can be a hard ass. All right. She also can be a disciplinarian as a disciplinarian, but she also, also has that rigidity of the earth balanced with the cool compassion of emotion. So this is the energy that you need to be cultivating for yourself. You could even, um, you would probably even benefit with, from working with your inner feminine energy to help that nurturance come about. Queen of Pentacles is coupled with, yeah, the Knight of Wands. Okay. Um, nurture yourself, love yourself, give yourself the love and care and compassion that maybe your mother didn't, or you had trouble accepting. I don't know. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, rising above judgment. That is a challenge though. Because you're going to have to work towards seeing the higher perspective here. Um, and you're going to really have to do the work to pull yourself up, to raise your vibration, to change your actions, to change your point of view, to... Although I feel like your point of view is changing already. That's just happening naturally. But it's more about taking the action to raise your vibration or just rise above whatever it is that you're working through. Yeah. Judgment is coupled with... Whoa, the Queen of Swords. Ooh, yeah, tough love for sure. You really, I really feel like you would benefit from working closely with feminine energy here, Leo. Whether that's your own inner feminine or if you have some individuals, whether it be a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. Whomever would best bring forward this motherly nurturing energy or just divine feminine energy would be really beneficial for you right now because with the queen of swords and judgment this is this is a little more serious than just saying okay honey it's time to wake up this is like a hard slap in the face like bitch wake the fuck up and stop dilly dallying stop messing around stop wasting your own damn time and see this for what it really is and I'm sorry, you guys, but this kind of does feel like a slap in the face, Leo. Like a literal, like you've been, you've been like constantly pressing that snooze button and the queen of pentacles has been coming up saying, hey, honey, it's time to get up. It's time to get up. We've got work to do. And you're just kind of uh, five more minutes. And eventually the queen of pentacles is like, all right, I'm going to bring your aunt in. You don't want, you want me to bring in auntie queen of swords? You're not even, you're comatose. You're, you're so asleep. You're like, all right, cool. Here she comes. And then here she goes. It's like, like open handed slap, slap across the face. Wake the fuck up. Get your ass out of bed. Didn't you hear your mother try and get you up? Now she sent me in here and now I'm pissed. Get the fuck up. Ooh. But it's all with love. <laughs> Yikes. 
closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Leo. Excellent. The world. Beautiful. Closing out the cycle. Closing that shit out, honey. We ain't having no more of that. New, no, new, no, new. No. I want to adjust this so that you guys can see. That's beautiful. The world is coupled with. Oh my God. Right back to the page of cups. Look at this, you guys. The four of cups and the page of cups both came out in your pre-shuffle. And now they're both coming back full circle in the closing messages of your first half and second half. That is so cool. So you're closing out a cycle that's going to allow you to get closer to your dreams. You're closing out a cycle that's going to allow you to be more nurturing to your inner child, to, for you to uh, accept and incorporate your inner child into the workings of your life. That is so beautiful, Leo. I mean, yes, honey. All right, so let's close out this reading with some oracle guidance from the unicorns and then i'm going to do your love reading which is going to be found on patreon yeah patreon.com slash divine conversation yes this is beautiful leo this i mean this is a bit of a struggle you're gonna have to put your pride and your ego aside but ultimately this is this is this is a very good opportunity and 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 keep keep in mind the me the reason for this is one for you to do some healing of your inner child but two so that you can get back in line with the trajectory that's going to take you where you want it's going to provide you with the true happiness and emotional fulfillment that actually you've really been looking for and the reason why you haven't been able to accomplish this is because you have not really been truly allowing your inner child to lead the way is kind of what I want to say. Not even like work in tandem with your inner child, but allowing your inner child to lead the way. And that's your heart right there. Okay. I feel like many of you have been really been working from a place of ego instead of heart. And there's nothing wrong with that because ultimately you are provided with an opportunity to learn through the contrast. And as soon as that, I started saying that, here comes awareness. I mean... You can't make this shit up, you guys. And the, the, the beauty of all this, the beauty of, and I know, I know it feels, it feels, it feels shitty. Okay, I get that. Oh, good. And celebration is at the bottom of the deck. I get that it feels shitty because you're, you're, you're facing things you don't want to have to deal with. You're facing things that you really wish you didn't have to face. But ultimately, the fact that you're aware of it now is a blessing you might want to call it a blessing in disguise, but ultimately it's a blessing, Leo, because now you have the awareness to make the change, to do what you need to do to get what it is you truly want. Awareness says live in the moment, be conscious of your thoughts, look for signs and guidance, but you can't fix something if you're not even aware that it's broken to begin with, right? Well, there you go. Quite frankly, Leo, awareness is really all you need right now. And that's what you have. That's what you're gaining. Or that is what you're moving towards. That's your, well, that is what you're cultivating, awareness. And then at the bottom of the deck is celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. Success and achievements are, are staring you right in the face right now, Leo. Why? Because you have awareness or you have the opportunity to cultivate greater awareness yes i love it leo i absolutely love it so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful for you wait oh my god leo i think i screwed this up for you guys you guys might get something extra because i think Hold on, pause. I'm sorry guys, I thought I totally messed this up. I thought I was going with a different Oracle deck to close out the reading for the month, but I, I didn't. I would use the unicorn. So okay, we're good. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna do your love reading now, but I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of June, yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.